So ChatGPT, let's do a little talk about ChatGPT, because what is ChatGPT? Everybody seems to be using ChatGPT. Um, it's everywhere right now, right? ChatGPT, ChatGPT, ChatGPT. It's making controversial headlines across the world. Everyone's freaked out that we're all going to be taken over by this, you know, by AI and, and ChatGPT. Students are using ChatGPT for their homework. Um, they can get a lot of use out of um, the AI and ChatGPT, actually. Um, so I want to go over some of the pros and some of the cons. You know, there are cons. Well, let's go with the pros. Primarily, it's saving time and energy because you don't have to hire writers. You can use it as a really useful tool to write content. But some of the some of the pitfalls um, are plagiarism. You know, there's a lot of plagiarism going on. Dependence. You know, you end up becoming highly dependent on it and reduce creativity. That's a big one for me in my field too. Um, a lot of people are using it and they're not being very creative. They're kind of relying on technology to do all the work. So I want to kind of go over some of the pluses and minuses of ChatGPT. So whether to create an account with ChatGPT, because you, you can use ChatGPT without logging in or you could log in. So the benefits of logging in the ChatGPT may, might include the ability to save and review your chat history, if that's important to you, because sometimes you like to go back and look back at the things that you're searching for in the first place. Um, sharing chats and unlocking additional features that could be another added benefit to logging in like voice conversations uh custom instructions and other things that you get when you do log into your account but if you don't need that my recommendation is probably to go without it <laughs>